breasts are a huge deal to a woman's physical appearance and so when they start growing abnormally huge and add 7 to 8 kilos to your body weight, that does something to your self-esteem. I met up with Makena, founder, Gigantomastia Foundation of Kenya, and together with women she has assisted undergo breast reduction surgery, we were able to explore some truths about big breast, or as many would call it, Gigantomastia. Um, my name is Ruth Makena Muga, I'm the founder of Gigantomastia Foundation, was a victim of Gigantomastia, and these are some of the beneficiaries who I have assisted to have this condition rectified. Yes. When we say Gigantomastia, the name is so big. In a layman's language, what is it? Gigantomastia stands for gigantic. Giganto is gigantic. Mastia is breast gigantomastia. Yes. So in short, yes. it's when you have Ex abnormally huge breasts that are a health hazard to a lady. Yeah. Yes. So yes. at this point, I'm going to ask you all to wear them so yes. people can see exactly when we speak what it is. It's a process. It's a process. You know the way when, oh. when ladies usually just do this and then us speak behind oh, yeah. no. Oh, okay. Oh. As we just do this. From the front. <laughs> From the front. So this was before, right? This was before. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna try me and the hard way. I yeah, used to wear mine like this. Then you condition. Then you condition. Okay. Okay. Equal the speed. Me, I'm gonna do it uh, the long way. Like this. Okay. Yes. And like so. Okay. Yes. Like this. Yeah. No. Wow. Yes. So this. So your boobs <laughs> used to feel this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I know, and there wasn't space to even put your own. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so there was no space actually. Yeah, so they used to feel like half or cup. Yes, they used to feel. Yes. Yeah. And see now here, you, you already have your, um, like now I'm, I'm wearing the normal bra. Yeah. I have my outfit, I have a jacket, and I still have the bra, and there's still space. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. Was there a moment you actually thought one day you will be... Not normal, not normal, but okay, you'll be okay the way you are. That one day you'll be able to look at this space and just see space and not meet. Okay, but now you see when you have the gantomastia, your breasts keep on growing every other day. Like today you can be a cup size. You say you're 40 cup yeah. E. Yeah. Two months later, you're 4 cup, cup E. F. You know, because Gigantomastia is hormonal. Mm -hmm. So your breasts keep on growing and growing and growing. <laughs> to the most social topic, mm -hmm. angle of it, relationships. <laughs> 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 <What>? Relationship. <laughs> Girl with extra breasts meets boy, and then what happens? And Maureen can tell us. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, yes. they can clearly see you're big. Yes. So even if at the, you get to a point of being intimate, it's not news to them. Mm -hmm. You can clearly see. Whoever is interested in you and your big things will be interested in you. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. But um, I'll tell you, if, if when before I... I had my surgery, if I was to stand with someone who, who had smaller breasts, of course, they would pick them because yeah. this is baggage. You, you just don't know how to handle <laughs> so it. The smaller one is like something they can work with. Exactly. Can I mean, yeah. you, you are like... Me, you are yeah. my, yes, thinking, yeah. my thinking is, they think, what do I do? Me, I'll speak. I'll speak from experience. All right. No, I'm not not me mm -hmm. per se, mm -hmm. but the type the women who have assisted. You yes. see, like, like there's one lady I will not even quote. She came to my office like two years ago. Actually, when I had a conversation with her, she was even crying mm -hmm. because now her husband has a memoir sasa no no because probably he was in that relationship because of those breasts. You get this somebody even she could not even go. You see the way school when you're in school there's this family, when your mom is running, you know the way you, uh, uh, activities, yes. she couldn't run, imagine. So, back at the son was like, when you, how come you're not running like the rest, you know? Also, how will you start telling your son that you can do master, you know, you can do master, you know, you can do master, you know, you can do master, you understand what I'm talking about. So, that's what I'm telling you, that self-esteem, you get. Then, you're in a relationship for all the wrong reasons. What is the worst you've ever thought about yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> I used to, let's just say, like, I'm not worthy of 
existence because I don't I feel like I'm an alien I'm abnormal like no one would ever appreciate you for who you are mm-hmm. like when someone mm-hmm. sees you yeah they can talk to you but then you just you know turn the other way if you don't feel secure about yourself if you don't feel empowered as a young girl or as a woman as mm-hmm. a lady and what you're going through mm-hmm. and your self-esteem like she said just goes yes. down the drain yeah. and you just stay there we were told like you were made fearful and one of you but at the same time mm-hmm. what you win what you're going through not more many people understand so you go through depression and stuff and it messes with you both mentally spiritually and yes physically if you if you're walking and then you pass to a mirror and then you look at yourself yeah you know your boobs are right before you arrive because they are there oh, to yeah. get yeah. and then you look at yourself sometimes you're wearing this bra and then your boobs are just down here yeah. you feel Really? It's just so bad because yeah. you know there are mirrors everywhere. So at, at one point you have, you have to look at yourself and then they're just down there every day, every day, mm-hmm. every day, every day. Mm-hmm. A very close friend of mine, and they were like bite, back biting me, and then they were referring to me as Miss Boobs. Yes. So to me, I really felt bad about that, and then. Most of the time, like when you're in a big, in a crowd of people, people would, ad- would identify you using your breasts. And then also when it comes to like, when you're among people, among your friends, and then you go shopping and you want to fit a dress, fine. You see the dress is beautiful. Yeah. But when you go fitting, you're struggling it to make pass it, pass through, pass, yeah. it doesn't yeah. pass through. It doesn't. And then I remember some time I had some people like at a boutique and then they were, they were saying like this guy looks like a bottle that has been put upside down mm-hmm. I think that was my rock bottle because you know you're big at the top in as much as probably you have hips and you have an ass but they won't show because the breasts are Takes taking everything yes. exactly. aside from the attention they just mm-hmm. swallow your body wow. someone doesn't see any other thing on you aside from your breasts mm-hmm. My rock bottom used to be my shoulder first, because my shoulder used to dislocate a lot. And I remember when I could be pointing my shoulder, dislocates, my shoulder keeps on. Then you see even the way these guys are saying about dressing, it got to a point, you could never find me in a dress. It was either, I was in t-shirt, jeans and sneakers, that is it. A sneakers, jeans, that is it. You can't dress like the rest. And the way, this, the way she's saying at it, people you know, will tell you, it became exactly. But now me I can say for me, I got to a point like you would never ask me about my boobs mm-hmm. because now I would I even became a bully, like you ask why are you asking me about my boobs? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm not yeah. coming to your house to ask you, you know, or yeah. something something yeah. like that. Yeah. Get, yeah. Yes, yeah. And now we are here, you know? Are you feeling better about yourself? Me, hey, yeah. most yeah. definitely. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. I can self-esteem is hey. one point. Mm-hmm. Yes, for me, I can yeah. say mm-hmm. I'm happy for who I am today, and I'll be very honest. Um, the way I said, it, I will not be able to help everybody. Mm-hmm. No, but I'm proud of who I am today, mm-hmm. where I've come from, what I've done, where I've reached. Mm-hmm. Yes, and I'm not stopping anytime soon. Mm-hmm. You know. And what would you like to tell women who are not, or those who are still on the waiting, like, or someone who is going through this, mm. what would you love to tell them? Anyone? Um, <coughs> okay. um, if you say you have a problem, like you, you're not, like you feel like you're not normal, don't keep quiet. Don't let people, um, people's words, people's own opinions and other things bring you down or stop you from looking for help. Mm-hmm. If you've heard about, go, go online, if you've heard about the Canto Master Foundation, go um, research, find out what it's about, read about the stories of which um, my fellow ladies and I have gone through and others who have gone through and others who are still going through and reach out to people. I love people, talk to someone. Have that one person who will always be your support, like if it's your mother, your brother, your sister, your uncle, your auntie, your grandma, or your friend, the one who you can really trust and who doesn't judge you for who you are or for how you look. 
also you should also have a good support system and also pray to God. Yeah.